Hello, and welcome back to Nick's Hobbies and Interests. I'll have to admit right now, day five and six of this house makeover has been trying my patience a little bit. But it's just a matter of constantly moving things from room to room as work's being done. Now, day five and six has been insulation and a green overlay, as you can see in these photographs. It has suddenly gone from a cold house to a warm, hot house. It is like living in a, a polytunnel. It is ridiculous how warm it's getting now that these walls have got four inches added to them of insulation. It's, yeah, it's quite ridiculous. Secondly, we have had air vents now actually implemented into most windows in the entire house. So that's good. It allows obviously an airflow. But the one questionable piece of work that's been taking place is the brickwork above the master bedroom window. That I say is questionable because in my opinion, they should have gone with the double stacked support beams in both the master bedroom and the living room below. However, they have only opted to go with the master bedroom and of course this is just in case the ceiling was to cave in and collapse without proper support underneath if the roof was to collapse it would then continue down to the living room below as you can see between these two photos the living room's obviously got the tv in that's directly below where the work's being done in the master bedroom i think in my personal opinion they cut the corner to save money or time but safety wise I don't think it's particularly safe. I don't trust that it's holding the roof up and I don't trust the floorboards below would also support it on their own. But we'll see, one more night and the builder's back. So yeah, I'll upload day seven and eight together when more work's been carried out. Until next time guys, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell if you wish, comment below. And as always, you take care because I might get crushed underneath this roof. Bye-bye.